So today I'm going to be talking about what it's like to be a ballistics examiner. What is a ballistic examiner? A ballistic examiner is someone who examines the firearms um, left at the current crime scene. This includes bullets, fragments, and other weapons left at the crime scene, and are, they are used to determine the suspect. Training and educational requirements. To be a ballistic examiner, you have to have a bachelor's degree in either forensic science, biology, molecular biology, chemistry, or physics. Usually newly graduated students will go into internships since it's easier to get an internship um, than go straight into a job. Here they will do one-on-one -on -one training and fully grasp the concept of being a ballistic examiner. Working conditions. Working conditions are usually pretty good. They have to be on their feet a lot and sometimes travel to different locations to see the actual crime scene if there's evidence left there. While working, they have to have their aprons and gloves um, when handling evidence, but that's expected. How is this job related to solving a crime scene? Um, being a ballistic examiner is very important to helping solve a crime scene. They are able to analyze cart cartridges, ejector marks, extractor marks, and other tools mark and other tool marks used in a gun. Um, an example of where a ballistic examiner came in use was when a man in Illinois was charged wrongfully of a murder. Um, then two decades later, after examining the evidence that they had found, they realized that they had convicted the wrong man of murder. These are some photos. As you can see, the bullet cartridge cage and primer, that's what they use when they're like really looking into it. And these are like how they kind of like determine their crime scenes. Advantages and disadvantages of being a ballistic examiner. Advantages. Well, in my opinion, this is a super interesting career to have. There's, some, there's always something to do and something new to be learned. And what's really cool is you can convict murderers, murderers of their murder. And you know, like, that's really cool. Disadvantages is you have to study a lot to get into a good lab and like actually to actually have a successful job. Um, you also have to have a keen eye, which some people sadly do not have. So employment opportunities. There are so many opportunities everywhere. There are so many labs in so many different states. Um, you just have to know where to look. Usually right after college, like I said, it's easier to get internships because then you can share your skills and work up from there. Salary. Salary is usually $58,230 per year, but this can obviously vary. Um, usually when you're at an internship, you're working for free. So that sucks, but related careers. Well, related careers include being a chemist, detective, fire and get investigator and fire inspector but there are so many other things like being a school teacher I saw is even related to this which is pretty cool and this is my works cited page